Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be going over the recent community newsletter for Kindred Fates, this time for September 25th, 2020. Now, I haven't read any of this. I haven't had any of this spoiled for me at all whatsoever. So everything we read here is going to be my first time reading it. And uh, yeah, let's just break it down right now because we need to know what's going on. The, so progress, the development team has been very busy implementing large portions of the game's user interface, including party customization for kinfolk and their abilities. They've also made great strides in the systems that initiate and end gameplay, including an initial login screen, starting new matches, resetting the game state between rounds, and spawning a new party member after your current, uh, currently active party member is KO'd. We say it a lot, but it's really feeling like a game now. So I actually, I don't know if this has been confirmed already, but I didn't actually know that the combat alpha would let you use a whole party. I figured it would just be one, like one kinfolk each and you just battle until someone dies. But apparently you're gonna be able to use a party. So that's good to know. Uh, if we haven't received confirmation on that already, there you go. We've also continued to steadily imp uh, implementing new abilities for all the kinfolk that will be in the combat arena. The animations and visuals for each of these abilities are individually tuned to fit each kinfolk that uses them so that combat feels intuitive and satisfying. Oh, so we got a new video too. Bite attack. Looking pretty cool. So to me, that's looking like a uh, like a dark type attack. Um, I I'm curious as to who's gonna get that attack. So if it is a dark type, you know what? That looks like a Salamurder attack to me. So perhaps Salamurder will be in the uh, in the combat alpha. Just just take a look. Like that looks like something Salamurder would use. Because the main dark type we've dark types we've seen have been uh, Salamurder. Um, Skullkin. I can't see Skullkin using a large biting attack. The other option is Deer Dog, because Deer Dog uh, is supposed to be dark with a fire lean. So that's a possibility as well. We haven't actually seen Deer Dog in 3D yet, though. So it, it, I'm leaning more towards Salamurder. I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comments about that. The uh, QA team is firing on all cylinders. Long-standing bugs are being rooted out and fixed by the dev team faster than ever. Well, there's no doubt that there will be issues uh, discovered by the community once the alpha is live. We hope to have all the major, major bugs squashed by then. The tree models for the forest arena have come a long way these past two weeks. We tried some new methods for the modeling that looked very promising. We're starting to gather uh, information, sorry, we're starting to add them into the terrain now. L like I said, guys, all you have to do is copy paste the uh, trees from Ocarina of Time and you're looking at sword and shield level graphics. The, the scenery for the ruins area has passed a new stage of completion. We're entering the final stages for this area and it's coming together beautifully. Cool. That's all I have to say to that. It's cool. Community. Production is coming on track for the Auburn plushies, which I regret not getting. They now have uh, their attached tags with our logo. That's so cool. We're really excited about uh, how official it looks. In order to receive your plushie, you'll need to make an account on our website and fill in the address info. Be sure to use the email associated with your Kickstarter account if that's where you backed us. Our website has received a plethora of new updates. Oh, I'm actually very curious about this. We've added the gift, oh yes, the gifting functionality. Now it's possible to do everything from giveaways of game packages to sending a copy to friends and family. You'll find this button on the bottom of each package in your account uh, inventory on the website. But be sure to read the warning text before you press send. Uh, make sure you get all the details right. There should be uh, fewer situations where you can accidentally lock yourselves out of your accounts or otherwise having your details uh, quote unquote disappear. Many of the situations which would previously create a separate account before uh, now have been fixed. Squarespace's connection to account system has been improved drastically. Expect future purchases to show up quicker and with more consistent accuracy in the account system. We have internally worked on a lot of tools to unify the account system with your in-game preferences, team list, and statistics. Whilst, wait a sec, let me read that one more time. We have internally worked on a lot of tools to unify the account system with your in-game preferences, team list, and statistics. That's really cool. So you're gonna be able to see uh, probably your win-loss ratio, uh, maybe like your, uh, maybe like a number that shows off like your maximum damage output, 
uh, in a battle or the, I'm actually I'm really liking that you're gonna be able to look anybody up and see exactly how they're doing in the game maybe they'll have like like a uh, letter tier so like this person's like an S tier player because uh, you know they've, they've either uh, beaten enough people or have a good enough KD or something like that I like that a lot uh, while currently only in our internal QA can use this feature expect to see more uh, on this as we get closer to our alpha. Our goal is that the account system provides a unifying identity for both in-game and on the website, cleanly and effortless, effortless, effortlessly excuse me, synchronizing data between the two. A huge thank you to Ruffled Rowlet for joining us last week for Kinder Talk 7. We had a great time hanging out with everybody as always. If you haven't listened in yet, we highly recommend that you check out the video here. Now, I actually really do recommend you guys check out that video. Um, this, especially the second half, they actually talk about a lot of stuff that we uh, previously may not have known. Uh, I did a, a little segment on it on Monster Tamer News, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on it here, but definitely check it out. And uh, with regards to Ruffled Rowlet, thanks for the follow on Twitter, man. <laughs> uh, for our next Chill with the Dev stream, we'll be playing Among Us. Uh, we hope to see you there Friday, October 2nd at 3 p.m. EST on our Twitch channel. Uh, that, that's actually going to take place right after our uh, monster taming stream at 1 p.m. EST. So, you know, you guys can come over, check out the uh, Costume Kingdom uh, stream, and then you guys can head over to the uh, Chill with the Devs. So, you know, you can, you can have a back-to-back -back episode of monster taming sexiness. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you guys next time on October 9th. And yeah, we got a couple comments, why not? I'm just wondering how to make an account on this web. Uh, as all the third-party login functions seems uh, to be in test mode, and I can't log in using these accounts. Uh, nice. I always enjoy reading those newsletters. Keep up the good work. Um, to answer your question, Mr. Chuxon, Chuzon? I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, to create the account, I believe you just go account. Well, I'm already logged in. Oh, no, you have to choose the log. Yeah, you, you, just, you basically just uh, pick one of these. Uh, you can use a Google account. You can use a Facebook account, whatever. If you've already, if you're a backer, you're gonna want to click on which uh, email you use to for the Kickstarter. Me, for example, I linked my Kickstarter with Facebook, so I would log in with Facebook. Um, if you haven't backed, just pick one of the four, and and that's how you're gonna you're gonna make an account with it. And it's it's really simple actually. Um, but yeah, th this isn't really a super long uh, video, just because uh, a lot of the information was stuff we I don't really have a lot to say on just yet. Uh, I mean, the initial login screen and that stuff, that's cool, but I, I don't know how much I can really talk about that. So I'm not going to let this drag out. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are of this uh, update. And, I mean, how long do you guys think uh, it's going to be before the alpha comes out? Do you guys think it's going to be November, or do you guys think it'll be the end of October? Because this, to me, seems like more of the end game kind of stuff they're doing. Like, working on the login screens and, and, and like, you know, touching up the... The textures and stuff that seems more like end game stuff to, to sort of uh, polish the game rather than the core like you know we're working on the models we're working on this we're working on uh, that this is like just the outside stuff that me if I was developing a game I, I'd focus on the the core mechanics first and then the um, aesthetic I, I'm, I'm sure most people would agree on that so who knows maybe the alpha will be coming out by the end of the uh, by the end of October or maybe at the beginning of November I'm not too sure what do you guys think let me know in the comments below uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. And until next time, peace.